I'm gonna be doing some kettlebell work right there today because I was out all day and I wanted to get home before rush hour. Now, I love using kettlebells, as you may know. I am a functional trainer. What that means is basically um, I don't use machines except cable machines. That's a different beast in itself. So I love free weights, dumbbells, barbells, kettlebells, um, sandbags, sandbags. I said that twice. Uh, sand balls, dead balls, there you go, and other stuff. Um, because functional training is better on your body. The reason I say that is because when you use uh, machines, like for example, leg press machine, leg extension, um, all these other machines, you know, it has its purpose, don't get me wrong. Um, I like the leg press, or sorry, the leg extension machine. Um, but if you don't really have injuries, or if you wanna work around your injuries, you can definitely use that with free weights. Because with free weights, you have to move your body um, in a functional way. So with kettlebells, you know, it, it could push you left, it could push you right, especially with the swinging. Um, so you have to balance yourself. Now with the machines, visualize a leg press machine. You're seated, your back is against this pad and you're just pushing upwards, which isn't really natural. With your feet, obviously, not with your hands. Um, that's not really natural. And it goes through a track every single rep. So it doesn't matter if you push to the left, it won't go to the left. It will just push straight up. So there is no stability in there. So you're getting strong in a very stable environment. But life is very unstable. Imagine carrying grocery bags with you um, or walking on ice or skating. You know, there is that instability. So you need to be strong in a very unstable environment. And that's why I love functional training. Yes, you could definitely push more weight when you use machines. So visualize a chest pressure machine where you're pushing this way. There's a back rest behind you and you're just pushing that way versus a bench press. We're using the bar. You're laying down, you're gonna push left, you're gonna push right because of that instability, right? You might be stronger on one side. Now, um, lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay, so yes, you are stronger when you use those uh, chest press machines compared to a bench press, especially with a uh, barbell, sorry, a dumbbell bench press. You're weakest with a dumbbell bench press and then you get stronger with a barbell bench press and then you're even stronger or lift more weights with a chest press machine. And the reason behind that is because at the chest press machine, you don't have to stabilize. So you can just exert more power and effort into that. But again, you are not training yourself in an unstable environment, which can lead to injuries. And they had this study here, so I'll just post it right below this video, a study on um, athletes getting injured once they switch their machines, or sorry, their gym equipment, their training, into machines, I think that was in the 80s, as compared to using barbells and dumbbells and kettlebells. So today I'm gonna to show you a few exercises that you can do with the kettlebells. It's a functional training way. If you have any questions, if you wanna know any other exercise with the kettlebells or any other functional equipment, feel free to comment, because I need to put more content to give you more value. Thanks guys. This is a rack position. What you wanna do here is keep your wrist straight, knuckles straight, holding it in from your elbows. Then you can also go overhand all the way up. Now make sure you're holding it by the corner here, okay? A lot of people just tend to bend at their wrist. Same thing for the other side, holding on this side, the inner side, not the out. So from the bottom up, this is a rack position. Overhand position over there. So it really challenges your core the higher you bring up the weight. It um, increases your center of gravity, lifts it up. This is the bottom here, you're just holding it at the inside. If you're gonna hold with the other hand, make sure you're holding the inside here, the turn, okay? So bend here, and then here, but if you're using two hands, make sure you hold it tight. Here we go, so
So a great way to learn how to do the proper swing and not use your arms is to use a short towel like this. What you do is just put it around, put it around like this. You'll know that you're using your arms when you start to pull the arms this way. When you start to the line starts to break, and as you can see there, you need a straight line from your shoulders all the way down to the towel around the kettlebell. When people do kettlebell, they use uh, too much of their either their quads, front of their thighs, or their shoulders by swinging it. great thing about kettlebells is, and free weights in general, is you can work three planes of motion. With machines, you're usually stuck with one plane of motion, and it's usually the sagittal plane of motion, which is forward and back. Same thing with the leg press, forward and back. I just did side lunges there, where you go side to side. That works with transverse plane of motion. Now when I do cleans, I pull and twist. That's the transverse plane of motion, twisting up, back down. So you can see here, up, down, up, that's twisting motion, it's transverse, and it actually works all three planes of motion, okay? One, down, up, so you can see your body's twisting there. And one way to work your core is by twisting, all right? You work your core when you twist, not just when you crunch up and down, in and out. So that's why I love free weights. 